how to get access to hidden files on your Raspberry Pi operating system. So let's open a file manager here. And as you can see, we have those uh, folders. You can have files, but actually there are more files and folders than this. They are what we call hidden files. And basically they are hidden because you can't see them. And in order to see them, it's very simple. You go here on view and show hidden. You can also press Ctrl H. So if I press Ctrl H, I can toggle the option to display or not hidden files. And as you can see, we have much more files and folders. Okay. So we have folders and all of the hidden files and folders start with a dot. Okay, so dot cache, dot config, dot local, etc. And we have, for example, dot bash rc. Okay, this is a file that gets executed every time you open a new session. So hidden does not mean that the file is any special. Okay, those are just normal files, but simply because we add a dot first, then it will be hidden when you navigate in your file manager. So view show hidden. You can do the same thing in the terminal. Okay, so if you do ls to see what are the files and folders in the current directory, you only see the not hidden files. If you want to see the hidden files, you can do ls-a for all. And then you can also see all of the hidden files and folders. So you can navigate, for example, cd.local, okay. And you can see we are with PWD, we are in slash home slash pi slash dot local. So those are just normal folders and normal files. And now if you want to create a new hidden file, you can, for example, use the touch command. You just need to add a dot, okay, new hidden file. So you create it. I know if you do ls, you can't see it, but if you do ls, dash a you can see the file right here all right so if you like this video subscribe to get more tutorials in the future also check out my online courses so you can learn raspberry pi step by step by practicing and directly going to the point links in the description all right thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses